Chris Barker, I'll start with an easy one. How do you prepare to face a side that's only lost once at home all season? Uh, as we do with the rest of the teams, really. Uh, they're, they're doing very well. Like I say they had another good result on Tuesday night uh, away at Braintree. So we prepare as, as we've done the other teams. Uh, we know it's going to be hard and we know it's going to be tough. Uh, it's probably going to be the hardest game we've sort of faced over the last five, six games. So, uh, but we're up for it, and uh, we'll, we'll prepare as we've done the done the rest. And starting this morning with formation uh, and, and, like I say, set pieces, and hopefully get a lot of people back on the train field. And their games tend to be quite tight affairs at home. I think only five of their 17 games at home have been decided by more than one goal. So, I suppose patience and solidity, even more than usual, will be important just to to make sure they don't get that early goal. It is, yeah. Uh, it's perfect as well. They do 1-1-0 on, on Tuesday night. Uh, they, are, they don't let many goals in, they don't score many. Uh, but they're, they're doing very well. Uh, they're well organised. We've had them watched. Uh, we're going to do stuff on them this morning. Uh, and we've got to go there. Like I say, six weeks ago we did it at Altrincham. I wanted to see where we were after an hour. Uh, and you might sort of do the same thing then. Uh, but we're, we're doing very well ourselves. Uh, we've improved dramatically. Uh, and they've been very wary of us. And I suppose the game down here back in December was another perfect case in point where there didn't seem to be too much too much between the two yeah. sides but a player of the experience of Danny Whitaker just steals yeah. the goal and, and that's it. It is, yeah. Uh, another perfect example is, is, is 1-0. Uh, disappointing for us to, to lose at home but we're, we're, I think we're a different team at the moment. Uh, we're doing well, the confidence is very high. Uh, all the pressure would be on them at home uh, to, to keep winning. Uh, they, they need to keep winning to sort of stay in the top three uh, and to push on so we can go there and uh, hopefully we'll get a good result uh, and hopefully we can continue the run we're, we're on. On Tuesday night you mentioned a few elements of the game like the cross that, that set up both of mm. Jim's goals as, as having come direct from the training ground. It must be pleasing when you can see your work during the week having a direct impact on the game. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, it makes me look good, I think, to be honest. But uh, uh, but yeah, we're doing crossing shooting 90% of, of the time. Uh, hopefully it is working and, and showing another thing. Uh, a couple of set pieces that we've thrown into as well, with what we worked on. Uh, so yeah, it, it's looking good. Uh, the boys seem to be listening and sort of taking it on. Uh, and hopefully that will continue. Uh, and we'll, we'll do more crossing shooting today as well. So, uh, But no, no, it was nice to see that we are scoring goals from that. It's Probably a stupid question. As a defender, are you having to learn attacking drills, or yeah, <laughs> in your experience, yeah. is it? Have you been on the other side of those drills where you're trying to trying to stop them? Well, we can do drills that you do both. Uh, we do the back four sh uh, shape. We can do back six shape, uh, and they attack us. Uh, so you can do drills at the same time. But yeah, I'm sort of learning. I haven't scored many goals in my career. I'm sort of uh, sort of learning that. But I've got to do drills for everyone in the team: midfield, wingers, centre forwards. Uh, and defenders, so uh, I'm learning that very quickly, uh, but, I'm, I'm, but I'm enjoying it. And another thing you said on Tuesday when you took over, naturally everybody was, was quite down, now they're smiling. Have you seen a lift in the dressing room around the whole club? Uh, I think so, I think that naturally just comes with wins. Uh, when we, we went through a very, very bad patch, uh, we all had to stick together and I said that at the time. Uh, but we've come through that now, uh, it's looking good, it's looking a lot better. Uh, but we've still got a long way to go uh, and until I sort of probably get to 50 points I want to continue that to, and that's probably guaranteed to keep us up uh, but I want to continue, I want to continue the run uh, and we know it's going to be a tough game Saturday but we're, we're looking forward to it and it's a good test for, for the boys uh, to prove that we can continue that run. And do you think it is just the simple fact of results improving? Uh, I think it is, yeah. Football is, uh, I think you need luck in football as well. Uh, we didn't have it for a, a month or two. Uh, it seems to be on our side as well, but I think when you do win, you get more confident. Uh, but we don't want to be overconfident that we sort of take it for granted. Uh, obviously, uh, before we've, we've come a long way, uh, but I want to continue that run. Uh, I'm unhappy we're not keeping clean sheets, uh, so we need to start keeping clean sheets. We're, not, we're doing okay, we're doing alright at the back, uh, but I'd like a, a clean sheet. Uh, and hopefully we'll come to well, we'll start that on Saturday. And another thing on Tuesday, you, you called yourself the, the Victor Meldrew of the team. Does, <laughs> is that surely the role of a senior professional and now the caretaker manager is to have is to have a moan occasionally just to yeah. to maintain the levels of professionalism? Well, to be honest, I've always I've always moaned anyway. I think even when I was younger, 
Uh, I love doing football, I love doing it day in day out and I want the best for the boys and I want the best for the club uh, and if they're not doing it I'll, I'll tell them, uh, I'm an honest boy, I, I try my best uh, but I, like I say there after the game they were honest, they were committed desire in the second half and I think the fans saw that as well uh, and as long as we're doing that I'll be, uh, I'll be moaning less but I'm sure, I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll moan at one stage during the day, every day uh, but I only do it for the, for the good of the boys. And injuries, Jordan Roberts missed out on Tuesday. He's joining a, mm. a unfortunately, a, a increasingly large group. But he, what's the, the status of, of players like, like Danny East, Jarvis, yeah. Ryan Jarvis? Uh, Jordan and Danny East should train with us this morning uh, full time. So hopefully they'll be involved on Saturday. Uh, my son has come off the other day, so uh, we'll check in this morning. Uh, I'm sort of stiff with a, with a groin as well, so I'd probably not train today, but Jav and Joe Oster, uh, probably next week sometime. Uh, Mark Moseley's training first time fully today as well. So we're, we're getting a couple back, uh, but I think injuries are always going to be at this time, especially when you play free game, well, a game every three days. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, Jordan and Danny will be back today. But overall, it's been a good week. Four points. You enjoyed your birthday. Things... <laughs> Things that are looking up, and yes, it'll be a very difficult game at, at Macclesfield, but we've got to go there with confidence. Yeah, and yeah, I think we've got a lot of confidence at the moment, uh, very, very high. But like I said, there, I don't want to, don't want to get overconfident and, and take it for granted. So uh, that's my job to keep them, keep them going, uh, keep them grounded, and, and that's what I'll be doing this morning. Uh, but yeah, we're we're doing well, we're doing good. Uh, Ten points from twelve. Uh, if you said that three weeks ago, I'd, I'd have jumped at it. Uh, and we've, we've took points off other teams who are down down there as well, which which is even better. So, uh, but we know it's going to be a hard hard game on Saturday, uh, but hopefully continue the run.